Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday morning. I'm about to have me some breakfast. I'm gonna make me a smoothie, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So for your ingredients for this smoothie, this is gonna be a blueberry smoothie. So what I have here is blueberries. It's only 80 calories. A serving is three fourths cup, which is a pretty much it's a lot. Also, I'm gonna be using Greek yogurt. This is the Dannon Greek yogurt. They have come in um, strawberry and mixed berry. I'm gonna be putting two of these in. Also, I have my blender. I use water instead of milk because milk is high in calories. And also, I'm gonna use a food scale to measure out everything. And also, I'm gonna use one banana. So, like I said, put your water in the cup. You put it on your food scale here. Yeah. And what you want to do is you want to turn this on. Hopefully you guys can see this. And you want to set it to grams. Take that off. Put that back on. Fuck. Hold on. Put it on grams. The tear button. Put that on. Hit tear. There you go. Now it equals it out back to zero. Now... What I'm gonna do, move this stuff out the way for you so you can see. This is ghetto production. This is straight raw footage. Bam, there you go. Let me give me a spoon. Now you wanna put enough water in so that the blade has enough to spin. Take your yogurt. Bam. See, I need me a camera person and put all that in there mm. now you don't have to put two I just do because I like the thickness of it now put two but two yogurts in that bitch make it taste real good and this is a nice, low-calorie, high-protein meal. Meal replacement, I would say. And now also, what you want to do, one serving of the blueberries is 140 grams. So you just hit the tear button. And then that's the thing about a food scale. You can measure out exactly the portion size. So you're not trying to extend and guess how much you're actually eating. So you want to put 140 grams, which I'm not going to be able to do because I don't have that much blueberries. That's all I have. So I got 106 grams, 106 grams of blueberries. And then also you want to put one banana. Now you don't have to put a banana, but that just gives it more texture. More creaminess flavor. So you put one banana. Bam. Now it looks like a lot. Now the thing is with this, you get a lot out of this, you know. It takes me a while to drink it. Plus when I do, I'm satisfied, you know. It keeps me full. So now that you have your ingredients in, we're gonna take it over to the blender. Excuse my finger. We're gonna take it over here. We're gonna set it up here. Hopefully it don't spill on me. Hopefully, there we go. Take your lid. Woo, almost dropped it. Put that on top. Here we go. Plug this bitch in. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Here we go. See, that's how it looks like now. And I'll show you guys what my creation looks like when I am done. And there, there you have it. There's your blueberry banana smoothie. 
Look at all that. You know, a lot of people say smoothies aren't, you shouldn't use it for meal replacements, but I think so. Look at all that. Two yogurts, one banana, and one and a, one serving of blueberries. And you get all this. Look at that. That's a, that's a lot right there, man. That's going to keep you full. And what I usually do, I put it in my shaker bottle, put it in the fridge, or if you want to eat it like ice cream, put it in the freezer. Let it freeze up a little bit. You can eat it with a spoon. Hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, hit the like button, subscribe for more. Comment down below.